Now, we want to show you a couple of pictures, Wolf, of the First Lady returning back to the White House uh, just a short time ago. There she, uh, she is going back into the Oval Office, walking down the colonnade, wearing that exact same jacket, Wolf, uh, that says, I really don't care, do you? Uh, we're told after she walked into the Oval Office and met with the president, she was joined by some communi communications officials. Uh, and then, Wolf, came this tweet from the president, the president uh, trying to get out from under this jacket controversy, you might say. Uh, the president tweeting here, I really don't care, do you? Written on the back of Melania's jacket refers to the fake news media. Melania has learned how dishonest they are, and she truly no longer cares. A couple of things uh, we should mention about that tweet, Wolf. One is that directly contradicts what the First Lady's office told us earlier this afternoon when they told us it was just a jacket. The other thing we should point out, Wolf, is that the media were down in Texas covering the First Lady's trip to show compassion with these children who have been separated from their parents on the border. And Wolf, it just begs the question, if you're trying to troll the news media or go after the news media, why would you do it with a jacket that raises questions about whether or not you care about children who were separated from their parents, which was originally supposed to be uh, the reason why Melania Trump went down to the border to begin with? Wolf? Yeah, all good questions. Uh, very strange indeed. Jim Acosta, thank you. Uh, let's bring in our White House reporter, Kate Bennett, right now. Kate traveled uh, with the First Lady to Texas. She's back uh, at the White House right now. So uh, what are you learning about all of this, Kate? Well, clearly the jacket has become a thing we're all talking about. You know, we watched as the First Lady, as Jim just said, get off the plane, return to the White House and go right to the Oval Office. Um, clearly this wasn't a jacket she wore on the ground. She wore it on the way to Texas, walking up to the plane. And then we were surprised to see it again on the way back, because, of course, during the flight home was when all the controversy came up about this jacket, this $39 Zara jacket with this writing on the back. You know, I think if any first lady had worn a jacket with a statement like that, be it Michelle Obama or Laura Bush or anyone, there would be questions. Clearly, uh, it's messaging. This is a first lady who has often, in my opinion, used her fashion sense uh, to reflect uh, purpose, whether that's traveling in another country and sort of mirroring that country's uh, culture or the white pantsuit and the white hat that many people interpreted as uh, Beyonce or uh, Olivia Pope, if you will. I mean, certainly these are sartorial choices the first lady is making. Uh, clearly, I'm going to read the tweet from her communications director about the jacket wolf. Uh, she tweeted today's visit with the children in Texas impacted Flotus greatly. If media would spend their time and energy on her actions and efforts to help kids rather than speculate and focus on her wardrobe, we would get so much accomplished on behalf of children. Then she hashtag she cares hashtag it's just a jacket. Uh, we certainly were focusing on her uh, helping children. This was a first lady who very um, sneakily, if you will, uh, opted to take this trip to Texas. Her spokeswoman told us uh, she declared almost two days ago to her staff and to the president, I'm going to Texas. It wasn't an ask. This was her decision, her determination. Uh, this was her team that put together this trip in a very quick amount of time, considering all that's going on down there on the border. Uh, certainly today we, we landed, we went right to this children's facility. Uh, she asked a lot of questions at the round table. Another thing we don't typically get to see with the first lady when we do travel with her, uh, she asked whether the kids can contact their families via the phone. She asked about how their uh, emotional health was when they checked in, what they go through in their process. And then, Wolf, well, we couldn't bring cameras in. She spent ample time with these kids in classrooms as most of them were, were learning practicing their English, uh, you know, working on their studies. She spent time asking where they were from, how old they were. Uh, nothing so much specifically, how do you feel? Um, you know, how has it been without your family? She didn't touch on that, but she did, of course, provide a, you know, a, a, a bright light or some, you know, caring element that so far, hands on, this administration has not demonstrated in actually physically having someone go down there. Uh, and then unfortunately we were supposed to go to another facility, an intake facility where the families are together, but this is where they're sort of processed right away after crossing the border. Uh, there was flash flooding, as our viewers down in Texas probably know in that area. Uh, the streets were flooded. We were not able to reach that second destination and then came back home and then the jacket. Wolf. Yeah, and I just want to point out it's what eight, in the mid 80s here in Washington today. I, I wasn't exactly clear why she was even wearing a jacket uh, at least here in Washington. But there seems to be a clear contradiction. Her press secretary says she wasn't trying to send any message uh, with that jacket. 
But the president uh, tweeted, you saw the tweet, let me put it up on the screen one more time for our viewers. I really don't care to you, written on the back of Melania's jacket, refers to the fake news media. Melania has learned how dishonest they are. She truly no longer cares. So, so what is it? Was she trying to send a message or is the president right? Her press secretary says no, but the president says she was. So uh, I think she was. I'm not sure what that message was. I don't think it was to the media. I don't think it was trolling the media. I don't think it was any of those things. I'm not sure actually what the message was. But again, I will say this is a very, I always say there are no coincidences when it comes to Melania Trump. I think everything she does is very purposeful and typically very smart uh, and stoic and sort of um, this has become her personality not to comment and sort of use nonverbal cues. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to believe here. I think uh, the president is clearly defending his wife. I think that's a natural instinct for any uh, husband and wife, and I, and I can uh, sort of appreciate that aspect of it. But you're right. It completely contradicts what her office is saying, uh, again, taking the focus away from the immigration crisis that, as we saw firsthand today, is truly happening on our borders under the watch of this administration uh, and the First Lady's visit. I'm, I'm glad you traveled down to Texas with her today, Kate. Thank you.